वेलकम टू बी एस सी स्टैटिस्टिक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ टेस्ट फॉर टू प्रपोर्शन सो प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन आई टेक वन बाई वन हेयर आर टू केसेस वी हैव इन द टेस्ट फॉर टू प्रपोर्शन कैपिटल पी इज गिवेन एंड कैपिटल पी इज नॉट गिवेन capital p in the sense that capital p1 is equal to capital p2 is equal to capital p that is the meaning of this is uh, it is drawn from the same population drawn from the same population for for this uh, we have to consider two samples you see the problem a survey was conducted on tb tb patients in india the data revealed that 1% of the population are suffering from tb in the country 1% of the population are suffering from tb which means it is a statement given that of the population that is capital p is given it's 1% of any kind of population for example if you consider two populations which is the same that is capital p1 is equal to capital p2 is equal to capital p it is it is 1% that is the statement okay now continue the uh, continue reading of the problem a sample data was collected in two colleges a sample data was collected in two colleges you see this is indication of two sample problem two samples are going to be drawn So now you see here the data. In college A, there are five TB patients out of four hundred students. That is, uh, the data was collected from four hundred students. That is, the sample size is four hundred. You can consider it as a first sample. College A, out of which five are TB patients, five students. Our five persons are TB patients. That is, N one is equal to four hundred five TB patients. X one is equal to five. And in college B, that is the second college, second sample, there are ten TB patients out of twelve hundred students. That is, if we consider N two, the size of the second sample of the college B, N two is equal to twelve hundred. And X two, that is uh, number of TB patients. X two is equal to ten. So this is the data up to here. That is that is the data is given. Now you read the question. Test the significance difference between the proportion of TB patients in two colleges. I'll tell you one important point here. Anywhere it is going to be specified. Test the significance difference between the two proportions, which means it is a which are uh, sample proportions. The significance difference is nothing but it is in between the two samples. That is sample proportions or sample means or sample variances, etc. So therefore, another statement. it is nothing but two population proportions are equal test whether two population proportions are equal that is another kind of statement between the population proportions between the sample proportions the question will be given test the significance difference between the proportion of tb patients test the significance difference between the sample proportions it is going to be specified hope you understand so therefore this is the question in which the data is this n1 n2 x1 x2 from which you can calculate small p1 small p2 x1 by n1 5 by 400 some value p2 x2 by n2 10 by 1200 calculate 0.0083 some value and now capital p is given at the first sentence of the data A survey was conducted to, on TB patients in India. The data revealed that one percent of the population are suffering from TB in the country. That is, capital P is equal to one percent, one by hundred zero point zero one. 
So if therefore q is equal to 1 minus p, it is uh, 1 minus 0 0.01, that is 1, 0 0.99 is a value. Now, same particular four points in any test procedure, null hypothesis, first one. You see the null hypothesis, capital P1, H0, capital P1 is equal to capital P2 is equal to capital P. What is capital P? 0 0.01, 1%. Now, the statement it is going to be referred by the question in the problem, test the significance difference between the proportion of TB patients in two colleges. What you have to consider in null hypothesis? No significance difference. Null attitude, no difference. That is, we have to consider in the null hypothesis that there is no significance difference between the proportion of TB patients in two colleges. It refers the two samples. Right? And the alternative hypothesis. If you consider alternative hypothesis, it is H1, P1 not equal to P2 because there is no significance evidence that greater to consider greater than or less than. Therefore, always not equal to. We have to test whether there is a significant significance difference between the proportion of TB patient in two colleges. We have, we have considered in null hypothesis, there is no significance difference. So we have to consider in alternative hypothesis, there is a significance difference. You see here, H1 P1 is not equal to P2, two-tile test because not equal to. That is, there is a significant difference between the proportion of TB patients in two colleges. That is the statement. You consider, you confine for the problem. You consider the statement in the problem only. Beyond the problem, you don't consider anything. Just confine for the problem. Next one, test the statistic under H0. That is the formula here, the case 1. Why? There are two cases, at a, as I have explained that. Case 1 is capital P is known. Case 2 is capital P is not known. What is case 1? Capital P is known. In the case, the test statistic under H0, Z is equal to small p1 minus small p2 divided by square root of p into q multiplied by 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2. Substitute the values p1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 5, minus p2, small p2, 0 0.0083 divided by square root of capital P, 0 0.01, capital Q, 0 0.99, multiplied by 1 by n1, 400, plus 1 by n2, 1200. So, if you calculate this, you will get some value. It is uh, 0 0.7311. You calculate the value, whatever the value you get, you, you consider the value. And uh, finally, Fourth point, comparison and conclusion or you can call inference. You can also write comparison and conclusion. Now, in which you see the inference here, modulus of Z, you calculate it is 0 0.7311 and Z alpha is equal to level of significance is not given in the problem, hence we consider 5% level and uh, you refer the alternative hypothesis, it is two-tile test. Hence, it is uh, at 5% level of significance and for two-tile test from the standard normal tables, we have the value Z alpha, this is a tabulated or significant value is equal to 1.96. Therefore, comparison of these two, 0 0.7311 is less than 1.96. That is, modulus of Z is less than Z alpha, which implies H0 is accepted. H0 is accepted. That is, uh, what is what is H0? There is no significance difference between the proportion of TB patients in two colleges. That is accepted. That is, uh, H0 is accepted. That is, there is no significance difference between the proportion of TB patients in the two colleges. That is what our conclusion. Hope you understand. This is problem one. Thank you.